Welcome to the lab. I am James D. Buzzard, creative director and serial entrepreneur from the big and beautiful city of Aurora, Illinois, located just outside Chicago. Now, I'm normally running two businesses with a third on the way, but I'm just getting started. Today, I'm creating a channel to help freelancers and entrepreneurs be more successful doing what they love. So if you guys want to see more videos in the future, be sure to hit the notification bell and leave a comment down below with what you guys learned. That way I can continue making videos in the future and provide more value. Now it's 2020 and if you guys are anything like me, you guys have probably watched a ton of videos on how to price video production. But a lot of these videos are pretty vague and they really don't break down how they get the numbers that they charge their clients and don't give you an easy answer on how to get started with it for your own clientele. Whether you guys are a freelancer, a business owner, or just making content on the side, I think that this video is really gonna help you guys out and break down the complex and confusing issue of video production pricing so we can put it to bed. Today, I'm gonna break down exactly how my business charges for video production services with a super simple and easy to use calculator that I put together in Google Sheets. The calculator is free to use and free to download. You guys can get it directly from my site at jamesdbuzzard.com or check out the video description down below. With that being said, it is time for a quick message from today's sponsor. jamesdbuzzard.com is dedicated to creative entrepreneurs and freelancers looking to streamline their workflow protect their brand and be more productive. Along with free tutorials, live streams, and business insight, we have created assets and contracts to bring value, safety, and productivity to your business. Whether you are a video, photo, graphic, or website professional, we have assets to keep you organized and productive with your clients, as well as contracts to protect you and your brand. Oh, and some pretty sweet merch like this classic, Create Something Baseball Tee. Hey. Check out jamesdbuzzer.com and start growing your creative business today. Now, the reason I mentioned Chicago in my intro is because Chicago is a super business oriented city and it always has been. And with that being said, there is a ton of opportunity. So take this video as a guide and adapt it to work with your niche, your market area, and the clients that you typically work with. For anybody just getting started or for those of you working with big clients, this formula is scalable for any size budget or production. The goal of this calculator is not for you guys to copy my prices, but more to understand how I came up with these numbers and why I charge the way I do. That way you guys can use this formula and adapt it to your guys' business and the clientele that you work with. Let's jump over to the computer and get up and close with this calculator, plug in some numbers and explain as we go. All right, guys, so we are back at the computer and I built this calculator in order for you guys to visualize this formula and so that you guys can follow along with this tutorial. So the first thing you guys need to know is that we are gonna be itemizing our proposals and invoices. The reason I do this is because not only are we hired to do full productions from pre-production to post-production, but we're also hired to DP and edit. Another reason that I like to itemize all of my proposals and invoices is so that if a client is looking for more value, we can easily reassess that proposal and add more value to that service. Or if they're looking for a service at a cheaper rate, we can reassess that proposal and adjust that service and it's straightforward for both parties. So let's talk about our very first sell in this calculator, which is our day rate. My day rate is $2,000 and it's based upon the value that we can bring to a client within eight hours of production, as well as assessing the expenses that we typically have within a full eight hours, the equipment that we bring to set, the profit that we're looking to make in order for our business to sustain and grow, as well as a small margin for us to allow for subscription discounts and to run specials for past clients. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my $2,000 number, but I want you guys to plug in whatever number makes sense for your guys' business. 
Now that we figured out our day rate, our base rate is automatically populated at 20% of our day rate value. The reasons I charge a base rate are because I don't want to get bogged down with a lot of projects of small value. I want to focus my time on projects of a specific value level or greater. That way as my skill set gets better and I gain more experience, I can charge more over time and as my prices go up, my base rate will go up and hopefully my client base will also ride along that same path. Again guys, my base rate is based upon 20% of my day rate. You guys can go ahead and change this cell to whatever works best for your guys' business. Now that you guys have an understanding of the base rate, the next sell over is our DP rate. Our DP rate is what's left over of our day rate minus the base rate, which will give us our total eight hours of production. Now we can take that hourly rate and multiply that based on our past experiences to estimate our next project. In this example, we're going to be estimating an eight hour day of production. Now that we inputted all the cells for production, we can now move on to pre-production. Pre-production is a huge value not only to your client, but also to you guys as DPs and directors. It's extremely important that you guys are going into your projects knowing exactly what you guys are going to be doing and exactly what's going to be required on set. That way you guys aren't having any mix-ups on the day of your shoot. For pre-production, our hourly rate is $150 an hour. And for the purpose of this example, we're gonna go ahead and input two hours of pre-production. Moving on from pre-production, we have post-production. For post-production, we like to keep things as simple as possible, not only for us, but for our clients. Now, the reason we do this is because all editors have different computers, different skill sets, different editing times. So we like to keep things based on the end value of the project. Whether it's a promotional, a music video, or an interview, they all have different rates and we charge differently for them instead of basing our editing rate at an hourly cost. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna put in a $200 editing rate and a two minute edit. Moving on from post-production, we have our add-ons. Add-ons can give your overall production a huge boost in value, as well as giving your clients a better overall experience on the day of shoot. Some add-ons are required in order to finish a project, and some add-ons can be optional. Some examples of some add-ons could be crew members, a location fee, additional hard drives for their footage, teleprompters, and added camera gear that is outside of your normal kit. It's up to you guys to charge what you guys want for your add-ons, but remember that if you guys are hiring things as added crew members, you guys might want to think about being paid not only to pay that asset, but also to manage that asset. That way, if you guys end up being on set for extra time or anything like that, you guys still have money within your budget to pay for those assets. All right, so we have all of our basic cells inputted on our calculator. The only other thing that you guys need to be aware of are your discounts. Now, as stated before, you guys need to have a margin within all of your prices. With that being said, you're guys' discounts cannot exceed the overall margin that you have built into your pricing. Now that we have everything filled out, you guys are going to be able to come up with your totals. Now, when you guys are looking at your totals, right next to that is the retainer. We charge a 40% retainer based on the total cost of the production. In this case, the retainer would be $1,000. $80 and the remainder left over to the client to pay at a later date, normally by the day of the shoot, would be $1,620. If we were doing two 60 second advertisements, would be $1,350 per advertisement. Now we have our entire calculator filled out and this is the final number that I would go ahead and send to my client on the proposal. As you guys are growing, not all clients are going to be able to pay your rates and that is okay. It's 2020 and there are tons of clients out there searching for good quality videos. So it's your guys' job to find those clients that value the videos and are willing to invest 
at the rate that you guys charge. Now that you guys have seen this calculator, I would love to know what your guys' day rate is. So leave a comment down below and let me know what your day rate is and what you guys got out of this video. Let's go ahead and start a conversation with each other. That way we can all learn and grow as a community. Once again, guys, I am James D. Buzzard from the lab. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can see the next video in the series. Until next week, guys, I'm out.